Hey, good afternoon. This is Brian Schumann coming to you from Transwest Truck Trailer and RV here in Belton, Missouri. For another video I want to present to you, this is a 2023 Winnebago Navion 24V. So this is a twin bed model Navion. It's on the 3.6 liter uh, Mercedes-Benz chassis, 188 horsepower, extremely good gas mileage. It gets anywhere from 15 to 18 miles a gallon. That's from my customers telling me that, as well as what the book says. This only has about 6,200 miles on it, so this Navion is like primo. Um, the couple uh, have had coaches before. They had a Class A. They decide to downsize. They downsized for a year, decide they want to go back to a Class A, and that's what they did. So this is a choice opportunity for you to pick up a Navion uh, for a good price with low miles and very, very well taken care of. Um, I'm sitting in the uh, one of the, the passenger seats, which again is indicative of the fact that both of these do spin around but what I wanted to demonstrate was not only is it comfortable and there's a table that can go here as well as a table that can go here so I could literally have a table and we could eat and have a little wine and cheese party right here in the coach once we park but also the fact that this enables you to sit up very easily because they have these bumper seats that come down and over this so these bumpers literally just slide over the seat and down onto the uh, base of the seat so when you sit down I have a nice angle to my knee and it's very very easy to get up and out of two it's not like I'm sitting down imagine if I, this wasn't here how much lower I'd be my feet would be out here and it just would not be easy to get out of the seat so I think it's smart that Mercedes does that um, obviously with the Mercedes you have a smart wheel so you have all your controls, volume, cruise control. You even have shift paddles um, on the steering wheel itself so your eyes don't have to be taken off the road. You have electric seats over here and memory seats as well as heated seats in this Mercedes. This is again, true leather, very, very comfortable. Um, the front portion also comes out if you have long legs. You can extend it there as well as the headrest. The shift is on the toggle switch here. So again, they the used to be down here on the uh, console, which was kind of in your way of your knee. Now they put it up here. This is a 23 chassis, but it's a 20, uh, I'm sorry, a 22 chassis, but it's a 23 coach. And they started doing this, which makes it very, very simple, easy and convenient to shift into uh, drive, reverse, neutral, and park. Uh, your windshield wipers are over here. And then again, your volume and cruise control and everything is on your dash. Push button start. I get a kick out of this with Mercedes. Um, you can't be thirsty in a Mercedes because count, count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cup holders. You should never run out of liquids in a Mercedes. You have charging ports up here for your phone and HDMI and other uh, media appliances. On your MBUX Mercedes radio, again, you have your navigation radio, media, apps, your settings, so you can again hook up to Apple CarPlay and everything else. I mean, your smartphone, you name it. It's just very, very easy to work. Touch of a finger. The uh, air conditioning and heating is again very simple, up and down and up and down, AC, auto, you name it. Uh, my customers put in a brake control that's already attached down here, so you have electronic brake control if you're towing a car or a trailer. Okay, and as we go back in this, and you can see panoramic view of this, you can see this one has the uh, theater seats that recline manually. And in this Navion, I purposely opened up the windows because this was new this year when they did these. I love these big windows. They can open up all the way. So imagine if it was raining, I still wouldn't get wet. And you also still have your two ways of uh, slides, screen, and your night blinds. So that's a new design they did in 23. You have charge ports up underneath. Plenty of storage overhead. Carpeted shelves. And some neat accent lighting that runs along all your areas. Um, I also want to call your attention to the ergonomic European door. Again, this is really cool because it's at a height that, again, is very, very natural for an average sized person. Instead of reaching down here, and opening or closing or locking, if it's, if it's moving or it's hard to open, now I'm straining my back. 
they designed it up here, which makes it very, very simple to open. And when you want to lock it, you can just push and lock it. Um, in addition to that, notice there's no screen door. Well, the screen door is a pocket door. So again, it's out of the way. I love this because it's easy to see through. It's very, very small, um, but it's out of the way. And when you're driving down the road, it's not rattling against your entry door. You have a place for trash. You have a place for your um, blinds, which come up very slick and give you the privacy you want on a pocket door kind of concept. So I think this European door is really a neat idea for this Navion on these Sprinter chassis. Um, you have, of course, dual sinks. And in the Navion, you come with an induction cooktop and gas, so you have a choice of how you prefer to cook. Your TV, your Greystone microwave, and plenty of soft closed doors that are drawers that are very deep. So lots of room for your pots and pans and cooking needs. And look at the room underneath the sink. I mean, you could hide your firstborn in here. So plenty of room for storage there, there, and across the way. Uh, the, the 24V, again, is a mid-bath, and I'm going to sneak by here so Katie can show you the inside. It's all contained. It's not a split bath, but you have a recessed sink, a nice size shower with two heads, an ample toilet space and vanity for your gussying up needs and getting purdy. So in the back here, you can see we have two twin beds, and this also can be brought across to make one big platform. So you can make this a total king bed if you want to. And you have storage, here's your wood that comes across, and you can actually get to the storage down below this into the base of the coach. You have a TV here, you have a wardrobe, which again gives you plenty of hanging space. Opposite of that is... Another hanging space with your table for storage and your pedestal. These are soft close, I'm sorry, soft touch ceilings. And you have a 15, uh, B, uh, 15,000 uh, BTU air conditioner heat pump on this. There's also a place for a curtain that comes right across here. So if you want privacy from some of your guests, you can have that privacy curtain in there. Also, your controls, generator, slide, solar power, everything is right up here, very easy to reach. Your Norco fridge, again, runs off gas and electric, either one, very, very good size. And in the back here, again, you've got storage on all the way around you. You've got six, six areas where there's plenty of storage. And there's even, over each bed, you see these? There's one over each bed, so again, you've got charging outlets up here. You can put your phone or devices up there, charge them, have them out of the way, but if you want them while you're sleeping or, or reading, reach up and grab them, and your reading lights are here also. So again, a little bit of ingenuity in, in, ingenuity in their design, but you've got one of those over both beds, and like I said, plenty of storage in the back here. So this is a 24V 2023 Navion we have for sale about 6,200 miles. Uh, I strongly recommend if you're looking for a Sprinter chassis, C-Class or B-plus as sometimes they call, um, give me a call. Again, Brian Schumann at TransWest. Love to be able to take more pictures for you or have you set up an appointment to come see me and tour this coach. Um, if you have any questions, give me a call. My contact information will be on the video. Uh, and as always, thanks for tuning in and safe travels.